is any time we're modifying a value. Like, so can anyone think of any time we use the word scale? Like, oh, this is too scaled. What does that mean? Grant? Two size. What do you mean two size? Like it's the same size? Same size. Oh, yeah, I'll agree with that. Scale models, right? We've all heard about scale models. It means that everything has had the same thing happen to it. So, if you have, um, anyone have one of those like, like little cars that you drove as a kid, like little RC, or not RC, but like you got inside of it, if you have one of those that is to scale or a scale model, it might be 1 40th or 1 50th or some fraction. I mean, the wheels are 1 40th. The steering wheels, 1 40th. The seats are 1 40th. Everything is 1 40th. It all kind of shrinks at the same rate. So if it's to scale, depending on how the word's being used, it could mean the same size or it could just mean that everything has a specific ratio. So, that specific ratio turns into the multiplier, or what we call the scale factor. So the scale factor, and we'll often abbreviate this as SF, the scale factor tells you what to multiply by to go from one value to the next. So a half, a tenth, a twentieth, uh, whatever. So check this out. Hugo's buying a bed, and beds are actually rather expensive. So you want to shop a sale. And Hugo goes to buy this bed that is 60% off. Right, so 60% off. It originally cost $245. So if we were going to draw a diagram for this, the entire thing, the 100% of the cost, go ahead and draw this please, if you would. 100% of the cost is 200 $45. I need you guys, with your partner, or on your own, figure out what you paid. So you can follow the directions that they have, there's the different questions processing you through, or if you have a different method, it is fine. The bet is 60% off. So you can think about what percent did you pay, you can calculate the amount they say, how can I give you... Probably a couple minutes at least. So dive in. Try to figure out what did you need. It already saves 60 percent. Percent left over that kind of already gave away to be 40. Okay, the percent has to add to 100. What is it? Oh, uh, tell me you know. Alex, multiply, right? So 
60% of the price, and they say 60% off of the price, tells me multiply. Now, can I just do 60 times 245? How do I do this multiply? Yeah, so we put it in decimal form, 60%. If you don't have this written down, you probably should. 0 0.60 is percent divided by 100 times the 245. What's that give us? 147. So that is here. Now, what is that, though? If that's your 60%, what? Is that really in the context of this problem? Oh? How much money comes off the original price? So if we do a little subtraction here, or we could calculate 40% of the price, either way we should get the same answer. What does he still have to pay? That's a deal. $98. Please make sure we have that model drawn. And if you want to show the math for doing the 60%, please make sure you have that as well. Any questions? Percent. Now, there's other ways we can do this. If I go to set up a proportion, just real quick to show you another method. 60 percent, 60 over 100. Would my 245 go on top or on bottom over here? Bottom. Bottom, right? Because it's the entire thing. If I don't know how to multiply, we divide, and we could get the 147 <clears throat> that way. So, multiple ways to solve. They asked us to draw a diagram. So our percent bar diagram would be perfect. All right, moving on. So we can scale things up, right? So when you have a job, you're hoping that you get a raise because you want to be paid more money, right? And that makes sense. So copy this diagram real quick, label what it has, and then we will come back into this problem. Copy this diagram, please. Notice now that our percent bar goes beyond 100%. This is different, right? Because we're going to increase beyond the total that we have. Try to figure out where that 3,000 would go. Try to figure out where that 3,000 would go. Give you plenty of time to work out. The instructor, I like training this for a I said something about it. One of my struggles has been that the CPU was not shot in my video. Now, if you where's my three thousand go? Yeah, so three thousand in your diagram should be right here. It was last summer's salary, and she gets a raise of six percent. 
Now, we could figure out what she gets this summer, but it would almost be easier to just figure out what she gets as a raise and then go from there. Ellie, do you know how to do it? Ooh, I like that a lot. Sorry, I was young. Ella said divide 3,000 by 100. Why? Can anyone explain why she's dividing 3,000 by 100? Because that answer is going to... Um, uh, how do you want to say this? Uh, it's going to uh, determine what you divide or multiply 6 by. And why? What does this give us? It actually gives us 30, but all I'm, I'm really asking, like, not what number, but what is it, what does it actually, Ella, what are you doing this for? Finding, Finding the what? Unit rate. In a way, it's our unit rate. It's the 1%. All right, so unit rate is the per 1 of anything. Ella said, if I break this down to find the 1%, then I can find my 6% really easy. What do I do to 1% to get to 6%? Anybody? Multiply by 6. Yeah, multiply by 6, right? So if this gives me 30, and then I multiply that by 6, what was her rate? 180. Which means her pay this year... 3,180. You guys want to know what I got paid my first summer working at Scout Camp for 8 weeks of work, 6 days a week? Essentially one. all day, every day. For the whole summer. Five hundred dollars. For the whole summer. And that's a lot more than I thought. That's a lot. A That's a lot? For eight weeks, weeks of work? Eight times ten. Yo, we calculated 80. our hourly pay one That's time and it was cents. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, it's That's six days a week. You got from Saturday morning to Sunday, like, oh. midday off. You oh, yeah. Like, all day, every day, from, like, when you woke up to when you went to bed. And oh, just can't. You, like, yeah, you were there. Oh, like, yeah. All right. Does right. this make sense? Now, you don't have to go to the unit rate. You don't have to get to the third. We could just do 6% of the 3,000. So if we want to show another way to do this, what's the decimal form of 6%? <coughs> 6 hundredths, right? 0 0.06 times the 3,000. If you want to drop this in your notes, it would be awesome. Gets you 180. So our multiplier here can be point six, or sorry, point zero six for that six percent. And there's actually another way that we can get to the answer even faster. If you add six percent to an already existing one hundred percent, what percent are we going to do that? One hundred six percent, right? So we could just instead of solving the six percent, we could solve. 106%, which will give you the end answer immediately. 3,108. So that is a one step way to get you there. Any questions? A lot of ways to solve. Read this and try this on your own. She's offered a raise of 100%. What does a raise of 100% mean?
Then try part B if you're done with A. I'm so glad you asked that question. So B is referencing the original pay that she had. So if Marina, no, I'm not sure how to say it. If she was offered a raise of 100%, Alec, can you tell me what you think a raise of 100% means? Yeah, that's going to double your pay. Because if you go up by 100%, you're now at what percent? Anyway, 200, right? Because you went up from 100 to another 100. So we, this is pretty easy then. $12.5 doubled, what would you get paid? $25. Now, if she goes up 75%, then Francesca, what percent is she getting compared to originally? She went up 75%. So forget about A now. I think A didn't happen. If you're getting paid at your normal rate, like your normal total, what percent is that? If you have all of something, what percent is that? 100%, right? So then if we go up 75%, where are we at? You were at 100, we went up 75. 175. So our percent here is 175% of the original. So it's 175% of that 1250. So to do that in your calculator, what do we type in? 175 times. Just 175? Yeah. Ah, 1.75 of, tells me multiply, the 1250. If you want to jump right to your final answer, you got to do the 100 and the 75 together. This, I don't know, close to 20 or something? What do you got? Twenty-one point eight seven. So it's money. So we should, uh, or sorry, eight seven five would go up. I don't know why my brain just took it down. Twenty-one point eight eight. Jamming. Can I always throw in an and an and an? So you could have been a gymnast teacher and make more money. No, my hourly rate right now, I don't get paid by hour, but if I computed it, it'd probably be more. That's so, what C is getting at here is trying to get you to understand the scale factors we're using. If you start getting more than what you had, we're going to have to multiply by more than what? If you get more than the original. Oh, more than one, right? Because if you have more than what you started with, you got more than one. If you have less than what you started with, like the bed in the first problem, you're multiplying by less than one, like 0 0.4, 0 0.6, something like that is less than 1 because your price goes down. But if something's going to go up more than 1, so here, 175% comes your 1.75. Oh, what's up? Um, I have a question. Yeah. So, we're talking about gymnastics. Have you ever 
I've never even been in a cheese pit. I wish. Oh, you've never been in a cheese pit? Oh, I, so, I wish. I really, really, so I used to watch Fantasy Factory, right, like Rob Diedrich's show. And I, so I, this is, this is a story I don't remember. Really when I was a kid, I rode BMX bikes, like, um, I mean, that's the only way to, like, trick bikes, right? Like, small bikes with the pegs, and you could spin it. And what, so I always wanted to launch my bike into a cheese pit, and there just wasn't. <laughs> I'm honest, right? Like, it's just cold. Yeah. yeah. All right, set this up on your paper, please. Set this up on your paper, please. If the entire bar that we're seeing is 100%, and we're going to remove 14%, what percent is left? Simple. 100 minus 14. 86, 86 right? 96. Don't forget the bar. Solve this in whatever way you feel like. You can use what they show you out there, but you don't have to. What is the X? Don't blindly follow the text. If you're going to read the text, make sure you actually read it. Is this one increasing or reducing? Does it go up 100% or does it come down? It goes down, right? We're reducing. X is less than what we started with. Marvin. What? You mean what? I'm going to ask you a math question. Do you agree with what they say for solving for x that we can take our 72 and multiply it by 0.14? Sorry, go. No? In this diagram, what percent is the X represented? 86%. So this would not be correct. However, we could use this. It's not equal to your X, but it's equal to this region, right? This is your 14% region. Did anyone solve your 14% of 72? What would you get? I disagree. This section. So I think what you just gave me is this, 61.92. If we did the work they gave us, you got a What is it? $10.08. So their scale factor of 0.14 doesn't get us to the answer, but it gets us part of the way there if we want to. We can figure out the amount that we need to subtract by that then can get me to the answer. Good morning, Phoenix. Please pardon the interruption. We've received a message that Cardinals track and Cardinals boys lacrosse will not have practice today. That we Cardinals track. We, we have to go. The cross will not have practice today. That's because you're strong. Yeah. Guys, if anybody ever tries to tell you that girls aren't tougher, they're wrong. Like, girls are just tougher. Yeah. Girls are, we're having, they're scary. Guys think we're tougher, but we're not. We're really big angels. No, they're scary. Uh, I didn't compute it, but I think it's just 10.08 if it's 10. Dollars and eight cents. Yeah, it's ten dollars and eight cents, not eighty. So it's just eight cents. Just ten point zero eight. 
questions on this model? So make sure you analyze what percent are we actually trying to find. Try this. Ramon went to the corner store. Now, surprisingly, the cost of some paper that Ramon goes to buy is $7.50. Really fancy, super reinforced. This paper does your homework for you. <laughs> if he had to pay eight percent tax, which is fairly common, you're normally going to find seven or eight percent tax. Is that sorry, eight point one percent? Is that going to increase his price or decrease his price? Increase, right? Tax makes you pay more because Uncle Sam wants his cut. So. The government, by the way, we haven't talked to Uncle Sam the government. So, how do we do this? What percent are we then going to be paying? Okay, so I pull another part. People have already talked to us. Sorry, Alex already talked to you. Caitlin, what do you think? What percent then is he paying? Does the 8.1 come off or does it get added on? It gets added on, right? Do you know what that comes out to be total? It's added to 100%, right? Because we had our original 100% plus the new or additional 8.1% is going to give me 108.1%. Then if we need, want to turn this into a scale factor per cent, tells me divide by 100. When we divide by 100, this becomes 1.081. That, we multiply by the price of our paper. And we get our final price. So if Ramon has 10 bucks with him, does he have enough money? What? Oh, no. So there's a few ways to do this. Another way, Marvin, would be to just take the 8.1% and calculate that. So if we want to calculate 8.1%, that's really when we do the division, the per cent divided by 100, that's 0 0.081, because per cent we divide by 100 to get there. Are you with me on that? We can do that times the $7.50, and that will just give me the amount my cost is going to go up, so the amount of increase. Um, so that... Because it's money, we'd have to round to the penny, so it'd be like 61 cents. You with me today? So then I could add that with what I was going to pay. This puts all that work together. This is the 100%, which is the amount we pay originally, and the 8.1% already put together. So when I do that multiplication, 1.081, Times 750, we will already have the 750 and the 61 cents, and it becomes eight dollars and eleven cents if we want. So, does he have enough money? Yeah. More than a buck and eight cents. Yeah, he's got a dollar eighty-nine left over. Is that a hand where you just kind of just twist it up there? And I believe you can spend the next five minutes just working on homework. Yep. Work on your assignment for tonight. Interesting.